a good idea. I'm ready and I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm not really an outdoors boy. I'm more of an inside man. I'm so cool. This was my idea. What am I doing? Well, that certainly was a weekend for the books and there's plenty of adventure ahead, but first, a message from our sponsors. If you wanna buy your own $500 rally car or just a regular car that doesn't try and kill you whenever you drive it, have I got a site for you, autotempest.com. Autotempest.com is one place that searches all the places. Craigslist, eBay Motors, cars.com, Auto Trader, and more. So to search everywhere for your next car, click on the link in the description below, autotempest.com. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. We're in Portland, f***ing Oregon, baby. And we're about to race in the Gambler 500. 500 miles off-road in a $500 car. The founder of the Gambler was nice enough to hook us up with a sweet Toyota Corolla. We don't know what to expect. This thing sucks. It's awesome, but it sucks. When I first saw the car, I was like, oh, this, is, this car isn't going anywhere. We can't put it through any worse. Right? Open the door. I think that a family of ferrets yep. have been living in it. I got nervous. So. What's that disease you get from rats? <laughs> all got all, all of them? <laughs> I'll be optimistic in front of them. But. This thing's gonna eat terrain! <laughs> <laughs> the car you learn how to drive in but we're about to learn how to rally in it. It's gonna be a long weekend. <laughs> I brought a lot of layers, thermals, my boots, thick wool socks. The other guys like didn't bring anything. Come to find out we're doing camping. I'm not equipped for the cold. <laughs> I'm a fashion boy, I'm wearing joggers right now. Yeah, I see in Jamestown, they don't go outside much. It's good, y'all. The car is a member of the group. Ooh, that's the sound of speaking. It's not. <laughs> it's kind of our like junky friend that we're kind of getting back on the right path. Bart's like really good at all dad stuff, like he's not a dad. He spent the night at my house last night. When I got back, he had done all my dishes. <laughs> you missed the spot. <laughs> a car that clean can't be stopped. Car boys are gonna get moving tomorrow. And we're gonna join the other cars on a off-road trek of fun, friendship, fashion, and frenzy. I think after a good night's rest, we might even win. It's like 6 a.m. I'm trying to stay warm. It's bright and early. It's chilly. We know it's going to be chillier. We got a knife. And what else do we need? We ran into a little car trouble last night with the front suspension. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> I see the problem right here. We opened the hood, sort of realized there wasn't any. We fixed that. We got to our hotel at around 2. We did bond with the car. He's got that custom livery. Now he's part of Donut. We even gave him a name. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Chappie. I think he's gonna get us from point A to point B. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. A lot of fun in between. It's holding up pretty good. Toot, toot. This morning I woke up and my phone was at 8%, but Jesse has this battery thing, and so I was charging my phone with that, and then this happened. Nobody cares. It's a navigation-based rally! I know I'm being sort of a pessimist about this, but I am very excited. Hopefully Pumphrey can keep it together and not cry the whole time. It's a nice weekend with my best buds, doing car crap and getting dirty. The car's a little wimpy. Some of these other boys got some big old tires. 
more power than us, but I think Chaffee's gonna do good. I think we got this. I, I feel like, like a lot of people are like, oh, it's hard, but you know what? We got this. I have never met someone more positive than Ify. We're gonna be like the mouse around elephants. His positivity is gonna drive us all crazy, or it's gonna elevate the mood. And Elephants get scared when they see mouses. Haven't you ever watched any cartoons? Uh, technically, this is a situation of complicit liability, which means if they're having you sign this waiver, they know they're liable, so. <laughs> Bart is like the dad of the group. Go have a kick-ass time, guys. And he's very good at almost everything. Starting out with a flat, huh? Yeah, we got a it's part of the challenge. Bart's really good to have on a trip because he does everything does all the stuff that you don't want to do, changes the tire, and he loves doing it. He's a dad. <laughs> yeah! Gambler, baby! Everyone that we're talking to is like, you guys ready for a shit show of a weekend? And I'm like, oh, what? I got tires on the roof. I got a car full of my friends. I got a new best friend named Chappie, and he's a little champ. He's wonderful, man. That's it, it's all done. Ow! Is that the oil No, I think it's just a rock. Well, yeah. <laughs> Something loud happened. We made it, and I don't see anything dripping. I hope it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. The floor <laughs> is lifting. It's like right in the middle. Literally, I cannot drive in the set tracks because we are so low that I would constantly be dragging the bottom. I guarantee you, Bart's the one that's going to get this car stuck. <laughs> we start running over rocks. Things are banging. Oh, look at this fucking trench. <laughs> then all of a sudden, it gets super muddy. Oh, we are. We almost flip, literally. We get two wheels off the ground. <laughs> it was like a mud water slide in a car. <laughs> we make it through, we're super happy, we're super stoked. We love Chappie, we love each other. And then, what? They're telling us to oh turn around. Oh my god. We gotta do that again? <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna get up that. I know. Dude, you guys almost fucking high sided that thing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I look in the rear view and I see this. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you got a spot to hook to in the front of that? Yeah. I got a big ass rigging strap. Alright. Oh, we aren't the first people to get stuck. The limo got stuck before us. That's like a total win for the weekend for me. You think those are gonna hold? Bart's the one that's gonna get this car stuck. So I don't know whether to feel embarrassed or honored. <laughs> well, we're level. Yeah. Wait for the car boys, the rest of the car boys to get yeah. to us. Crowley got towed out, Chappie's safe, which means Jester and I are walking, walking through this. <laughs> through this. <laughs> Just want to say that there's more than three carboys, possibly the most important carboy you don't see very much. There he is, Jesse the Jester. Jesse will be with us the whole time. You'll see him more than he would like you to. Do you still think we're going to finish? I don't think anybody's going to finish, to be honest. <laughs> He turned around and you guys were gone. Buckle up, boys. Yeah. All right, take a break. All right, we're going to stay on this for about six miles. I'm hopeful that we're going to get up, we're going to get down in one piece. Well, I think we do one in between. Bart is trying to get us to follow the rules, but we don't follow rules around here. We're in the wilderness. We should have been able to go through. Wait, isn't this where we just came from? Straight, straight, straight. Oh, you're right. Right, 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 right. Bart, you're a really good driver, but you're a shitty navigator. That's not true. I just got us where I wanted to take us, and you guys are really bad passengers. Because I didn't want to drive through someone's 
yard. But I knew where we were. So, Blink 429. 605. Look, All look, of our gamblers, yards. it's gamblers. We're back. We're back, baby. We're back. There you have it. It's ready tight. <laughs> no one's used it. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand feet. I don't know how tall, high up we are, but it got cold. I'm so cold. I've never been this cold in my life. Comfrey may be a little soft around the edges. All of my layers are drenched to the bone. I had enough driving. <laughs> Say that. Comfrey took the wheel. Bart was more controlled. He was like a tactician. Uh, Pumphrey seems like a wild child. There was like a bloodlust in his eyes. Jeffy! This shit is right up my alley. Tell my wife, my daughter, I love him. Uh, and uh, it was Pumphrey's fault. Whatever, I'm out here living my dreams. Our man Hippie's driving. He's a monster behind the wheel. Will this be our undoing? Yeah, mate, this is probably, I'm probably gonna ruin the car. <laughs> when you get more excited, uh, you drive better. I learned that from Fast and Furious. Yeah, fucking never lift. Not sure if it's gonna make it. It was, it was coughing. I think this is a car that will just continue to surprise you. Back on the road because you can't really drive through Portland off-road. It's getting dark and we're about an hour and a half from camp. It's a real party, baby! This is one of the scariest ordeals of my life. And it's it literally the darkest like I've ever seen in anything yeah. in my life. Uh, the headlights on this car are point straight to the sky. Jesus Christ. And we had to get out and rig them so now they point straight at the road, which is a little bit better. We can just see the reflections on the line and it looks like we're flying through like warp speed. Every time another car passes, we can't see anything for a couple seconds. So hopefully we make it to camp. There's a malfunction with our brake lights, so some are going blue and some are going red. <laughs> you do have brake lights when okay. you touch the brakes, but the one on but the right side is is broken out or something. Can you just run a couple things, I'll be right back with you. If we don't finish this with Chappie, I'm gonna be really sad. Like I'd rather have Bart arrested than Chappie Toad. <laughs> If you're interested in fixing this, we are handing out these uh, vouchers that are good for 20% off. Other than that, try to have taillights when you're driving tonight. Okay? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, you. Sir. Much. How much is our ticket? It's not a ticket. We don't have a ticket? No. He said, be careful. Blue lives matter, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Holy shit, we ended right behind. <laughs> The guys that we started right behind. Literally, that car in front of us was the car that we were behind when we got in line to the starting line. What a magical day. <laughs> we made it, we made it to camp. After all that, we're here. We made it to camp, lots of trials and tribulations. The cops tried to stop us, we did it. Nature tried to stop us, we did it. It was lots of fun, whirlwind of emotion. Chappie tried to stop us a few times. 
We did it. I don't know if we went exactly 500 miles, but we went a lot of miles off-road and for a 97 broken Corolla. Everyone here is great. It's just like a big family here. Every, it was, it's, it's great to be a part of it. I'm really proud of the Buttes, and I'm really proud of myself, but I'm really, really proud of that little car. We're ready to get going. We're ready to tear some, tear some tracks just back to a hotel, because I'm done camping. I'm excited to come back because we're definitely coming back. I think we're going to have a renewed sense of self and the car boys are going to realize life's a party. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. We're going to have to get this thing detailed. Yeah, detailed before we go to checkpoint eight. 